For our latest Backstage at Backstage interview, I caught up with Liam Halligan, who is directing our 2020 co-production with Backstage Youth Theatre. Hear all about the creative steps they're taking under Liam's guidance to ensure both the cast and the audience get the most out of the experience during this COVID era. From site-specific theatre to radio plays, take a few minutes to have a listen to the loveliest man in theatre as he tells you all about what's in store. Enjoy. Well, um, I was delighted to be asked, um, and of course I started looking for um, a play for young people, um, and then the whole COVID thing came about, so um, I like to think I'm a positive person, so I thought, how can this be a positive um, experience for everybody? Because you can dwell on the negatives completely, and I thought this is an opportunity to, to do something different and to do something exciting and to use the theatre in a different way. Um, so I started looking, first of all, for a play that would um, that was kind of text space that we could do as a radio play, and then um, we would rehearse it as a stage play and then recorded as a radio play. Um, so I found a lovely play for 10 people and um, so we kind of took that approach and I thought um, the young people learning how to use a microphone and getting the play recorded and put out on Channel Side Radio and now it's going out on Halloween which is fantastic. Um, I think that's a lovely experience. Um, but then I also wanted to kind of prove to myself in a way more than anything that we could use the theatre in a in a new way because restrictions start happening, it's only 20 people allowed in. Um, and I thought, why can't we um, create a, a whole new piece with the young people using the gallery and using the studio and using the, the, the stage itself and maybe the scene dock and the outside spaces um, in a very different way. Um, so we went with that idea as well. So I'm also asking the young people to, um, uh, I'm asking them to write quite a bit really. I put them into groups because I thought we don't know the way COVID is going. We have to keep everybody safe. Um, so putting them into smaller groups, I thought months back would probably be a good idea. So we have them in small groups of two, three or four. And actually, they're doing, they're doing just really beautiful writing. Um, we, we took the theme of confinement because it's connected with the radio play. So we're doing looking at uh, confinement in the past, confinement in the present, confinement in a men's shed, confinement, the release from confinement in the future. Um, and they're actually writing really, really lovely things. And, and also, I think for the audience, it would be a lovely, uh, a very different experience. They'd be promenaded, walk through each place, see, there'd be these little happenings that they'll witness or take part in, and then they'll kind of weave out the stage door and back to the car park. Um, so uh, it's a lovely opportunity for me to do something different and to, to see if this will work. And, and actually, I don't see why it won't. Um, I think the I think the young people are, are really enjoying it. It seems like it's almost enhanced the experience for the young people. Like they're getting to to try their hand at a lot more things, say, than they would have had it just been a straight play on stage. Well, exactly. Yeah, and also I had time to get to know them as well because we did lots of Zoom meetings before I, I actually physically met them. So I kind of got an inkling of what they were capable of and um, they wrote some beautiful little bits of poetry because they were it was in the middle of lockdown. And, um, and I think also for them to just be here, to be able to get out of their home and to come here and to be in a different space and to meet different people, um, knowing that it's safe and knowing that we're kind of look after them, looking after them has just given them, um, I think, a lot of confidence, really. Brilliant. And I remember many, many moons ago, sitting in, in the auditorium as you were giving a talk to some Leaving Cert students. And you spoke about how a friend of yours felt that they wrote their best work in times of tragedy or after times of tragedy. Obviously, this whole experience has had a deep impact on the art sector. But do you think that there could be something positive that will come out of this in terms of, well, not only has this changed for the better, mm -hmm. um, but that the arts world is such a creative uh, sector anyway. Do you think that some things might blossom from, from this whole experience? Um, well... I absolutely think it will because it, for instance, just in, in this experience alone has forced us to use the building in a very different way where um, we've discovered that a lot of the members of the youth theatre group are really good musicians um, and we're going to incorporate that as well. Um, I've, we've got them to film certain things as well. So 
we're creating really an interdisciplinary piece and we're using the theatre in a very different way. So that is going to change not only their experience, but the audience experience. And um, it's, it's an opportunity for me as well to see what you can actually do given the limitations. You know, it can actually enrich the quality of the work and the depth of the work. And I'm really, really surprised at the profundity of what the, what the members have written. Um, some of it is really quite beautiful. And um, I don't think in normal times, first of all, I wouldn't have gone down that route in a way. And um, maybe they wouldn't have been asked. You know, so um, I think it's bringing out um, a depth and a profundity in, in the way we think about the world that maybe we lost touch with a bit in the past. Fantastic. So lots of exciting things to come. Really looking forward. I mean, the elements from radio to, to the actual interactive pieces here. So um, the audience yes. are in for a treat. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're using... We're using every aspect of theatre you can imagine with great joy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>